Huh? Hmm? Now ah, Tahar. Seems your men have made themselves comfortable. Yeah, they have. But blazes, Tahar. I know I've said it before, but this place is incredible. It's also a very good base of operations. Should we make enemies, uh, and I hope it doesn't come to that, we're well prepared. But I'm guessing that's not what you came here for. You want to talk, right? About what I did eight years ago? Actually, I don't. The past is the past. Well, if you say so. Then is there anything else you want to talk about? I want to talk about my father. I figured you'd want to eventually. What is it you want to know? Let's discuss something else. I'll be off. Yes? Yes. Made yourself comfortable? Comfortable? Believe me, being comfortable is the last thing on my mind right now. Just look at this place. A shaper city. Don't you feel it too? This sense of divinity? I do. It's beautiful. Indeed it is. Tahar, I'm not sure if you understand how much this means to me. The forgotten city of Mullendir, the heritage of the Shapers. Since my childhood days, I've dreamed of this. I suppose what I'm trying to say is, thank you. You and the Harbinger have made this dream come true. Well, all we did was save you from the Orcs. You were the one who found the entrance. You make it sound as if saving me from those Greenskins was an easy feat. It wasn't. Anything else I can help you with? If not, I'd like to take another look at that rune Lacane gave us. It's at least as amazing as this place. Tahar, may I help you with something? What exactly is it that fascinates you about the Shapers? Oh, Tahar, that's quite a topic. I don't mind sharing, but... Are you sure you want to go there? I am. Tell me. All right. Well, where do I start? You see, the Shapers have always fascinated me. They're all over Eo. These remnants of a once so glorious civilization. Yet for some reason, so many people are almost oblivious to it. On the one hand, of course, that's very sad. On the other hand, tell me, Tahar, when seeing all of this, don't you sometimes feel like you're exploring a childhood dream? The kind of world the po- Sometimes, yes. It's dark, but also fascinating. Absolutely. But this childish fascination was only the spark. The more I studied the Shapers, the more enthralled I became. Did you know that at the pinnacle of their existence, they ruled over all of Eo? A global empire with no one to oppose them. You seem to consider that a good thing. Well, oh, good, bad, the world... Of, and it persisted for tens of thousands of years. And yet, they died out. Yeah. A great mystery. Most scholars think it was the dragons. They do, but I doubt it. But regardless, and why? Because to many, admitting what a marvel the Shapers truly were would mean admitting that our culture is pale in comparison. Maybe you're right. There's a lot we could learn from the Shapers. There is. In any case, I suppose you found your answer, haven't you? I see. Well, thanks for the explanation, Iskram. I appreciate it. Corporal? Hmm?
Let's see. All right, let's cut to the chase. We need to discuss where and how we start our search. You are all familiar with the objective? I think so. We need to find the Forge Stones to reignite the Nexus, decipher the Song of the White with it, and put an end to the Bloodburn. That's about it. Iria thinks that someone removed the Nexus Stones shortly before the city was abandoned, but they left their markers on that stone map. And now that we have a small army backing us up, we can start searching. Eskrim? Yeah, we suspect one of the stones to be in the desert of Aeonir's Blade, probably in the possession of the Iron Falcons, whereas the other one is on an unknown island. An unknown island? Correct. And yes, the oceans might have long taken it, which is why the only way to find out is to build a ship. And to... Wait, I... I think I might know what that island is. Does it happen to be in the Northwest? In the Black Sea? I... think so. Sun and stars, that's... fascinating. Two years ago, there was an archaeologist in Everlight who claimed the same. That there was an island in the Black Sea, unknown to our cartographers. Did he find it? That's a complicated story, but it's a trail we could follow. If we go to Everlight, I can tell you more. Well, it does sound promising. And intriguing. So, where do we go first, Tahar? Everlight or Aeonir's Blade? I'll think about it and let you know when we head out. For now, just get prepared. Will do, Corporal. The Field Dark. What may sound like a myth or horror story to many is harsh reality for the 200 iron falcons of the canyon named Aeonir's Blade. According to legend, the guardian gods fought back the Field Dark, ancient mythical demons, and sealed them in a tomb. Ever since that day, the Field Dark have tried to break free, raising hordes of the undead from the sand to do their bidding. And it is only the Iron Falcons who stand between them and their return to the world. Huh, quite the view. So that's where the Iron Falcons guard the field arg. I don't need to remind you that we should be careful, right? Aeonir's Blade is and always has been a battlefield. I know. We'll go in, get the stone, and leave. Maybe we won't even need to send in our army. Let's scout the area. <laughs> 